Hi guys, you're welcome. Thanks a lot for the visit. We post videos on jobs, recruitment, scholarship, job opportunities, anything that optimizes life and make life easy. So today we are talking about Nigeria Navy. Nigeria Navy is recruiting. So just go to the description below. The link is displayed in the description. Click the link. Once you click the link, it takes you to this interface. Make sure you read the instruction carefully. You just go through the instruction. I would have clicked apply now, but I said no. Let us go through the instruction. This this uh, portal is not for conventional uh, recruitment. It's for DSS, as in short service, meaning it's for those that went to university. And it's not even everybody that went to university that is eligible to apply for this form. It's only for medical doctors, nurses, engineers, and their engineer is marine engineer, uh, architecture, uh, marine architectural engineers, and the rest. Then, medical doctors. I said. Then, um, lawyers. So you go through these instructions. Then, the after filling the form, when one is uh, being accepted, the exam centers are Abuja, Bauchi, Lagos, Wari, Portacourt, and Sokoto. So now let us just dive into the form. The first thing you need to do is to register. Is to register with Nigerian Navy. Is to open an account with Nigerian Navy. And once you open an account with Nigerian Navy, it tells you putting your phone number. I mean your email and your password that is the only thing you need your email and your password once you put that in this registration uh, pro, uh, interface then you click register it takes you to the main form yes and the password if you try it it did not go the password must have a uppercase lowercase number special alphabet you know special alphabet as an art ash you know underscore the rest so now we have opened the account we are now in the database as in the data bio data page so in that data page you choose a department to we'll come back to that you now choose a department then you put in your nin you choose a title mr mrs let me take mrs this is a demo form this is not a real form it is a real form however but i'm not using my 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 information i'm just doing it to demonstrate how the form is filled so this information put in here is a pseudo information so you now put your date of birth you put your accurate date of birth the one that synchronizes with your nin why i decided to do this video is to optimize your chances of being recruited to nigerian navy so you have to put the information because these people are military people they don't have time to waste they don't have time to tolerate nonsense so they once your information is not synchronizing they say next then you put everything then coming to the the department you see it is a medical law ict you know then choosing your status marital status even if you are married you have to choose single because generally the military does not tolerate their recruit being married once you are married it's a red flag so just put single and children put zero so this video is done to optimize our chances of getting called for recruitment in nigerian navy so just make do you you, you just make do with the information we give you be attentive be, be 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 careful when you're filling the form so we'll finish uploading the picture they will now go to the next of king put your next of king name address phone number and there are two nest of king you know then after that you put in your examination uh, uh, educational qualification Primary school, the year that is the year finish. Secondary school, the year that is finish. And the tertiary, you have to put it the way it is in your document. It has to synchronize to avoid any complications when you are eventually called. You know, so when you are eventually called, if there's any any misspelling or age problem or name problem, rectify it before you go for physical very very training if you are shortlisted so now we are an educational qualification segment of this form you put in the dates the names should not be abbreviated the name should be put in full 
source for the full name of any abbreviation and put it in full so as that is being done okay that is being done now okay then we'll go to next oh oh yeah i am demonstrating with this uh, form with mathematics english and civic education in that order math or english civic education these three subjects have to be put together before you know the essence of this video is to optimize our chances of being called for uh, recruitment so we we'll have to put it and after that we come to the next stage where you you put your your referee Referee is different from nest of kin. Nest of kin is your relation. Referee is not your relation. They don't have to be related to you. You know, although if you have an uncle that is influential, at least, you know, you use that influence. So after doing that now, you check your information, you proofread. Then after that, you submit. You must make sure that it says registration completed before you do anything and you click OK so now you see the form has been filled then you now print out it's 11 pages it's 11 pages you print out you have to print out because uh, you print out in colored because you are going to carry this document to physical verification physical verification you needed this document so after filling the form you print out so thanks guys for crisscrossing our channel see you on the next videos guys peace out guys subscribe to our channel guys drop a comment in the description guys i'm out